How y'all doing? This is Glow Beauty Street Egg, and I'm from Illinois, but raised in Texas, and I breed Beauty Dragon. So I got here my half mustard 100% head whiplets. I believe this one is a hypo. And never know, man, you can always get a paradox. These are the different colors you get. You got hypos, visual hypos, and hip hypos. And we're gonna talk about the half mustard 100% head whiplet and the full mustard. All right, this is the 100% red monster. This is a half monster, 100% head whip blue. So what we're gonna talk about is the growth rate. This one is bigger than the other one. Now, as months go on, one might be bigger than the other. So I wouldn't trip on it too much because at two years, they might be the same exact length Hey, Jojo, you helping your daddy out with these bearded dragons? Mm -hmm. What do you do with the bearded dragons? How do you help? Mm, I, I think you do a lot of stuff, man. Your dad said you do a great job helping out. What I'm going to talk about is the health of the bearded dragon and things the right lightning and everything. So we're going to start off with the lightning. So what I usually use is UVB, UVA. I get it from Amazon. When you have more um, of a moist sand, that works for the bearded dragon because when it's dry sand, it's more dusty. So if you have bugs and they're running around in a dusty enclosure um, and the bearded dragon eats them, it will compact the bearded dragon. So once that happens, then the bearded dragon won't be able to poop. Let's talk metabolic bone disease. How, how does that happen? Man, a lot of inbreeding. If you're not using enough calcium, because they need calcium. If I was you guys, I would do research on a bearded dragon before I get it. I seen a dragon one time, man, and, and I think the lighting, I think they just had a LED not, uh, light instead of a UVB, mm. and it was terrible, man. The dragon had, it started growing like inside out. It was weird. It was just crazy. It was sad, and I was like, man. Guys, you can do a 10 gallon, but the dragons, when they're little, they eat a lot. They grow real fast. And I feel like they will kind of like outgrow a 10 gallon to 20 gallon tank. So if I was you guys, I'll probably just start off with a perfect 40 gallon. I'm tired. Okay, I'm almost done. I'm wrapping it up real quick, okay? So you have the rocks to contain the sand, to hold it down when the little dragon moves. And it's a baby, so the baby won't make too much movement in there you have proper water only thing you have to be careful about is just the humidity the humidity from when the light depending on how hot it is in there humidity can spike up and the dragon can get a respiratory infection i'm gonna do a sex in the bitter dragon now so a lot of people get it confused on the sexing the bitter dragons this is a male you'll see two bulges man but so this is a female what you do is you lift the Tell up and you will see a bump right where they poop at, right above it, that's the bump. Big blow, oh, I'm sorry, big glow beardies. <laughs> All right, big glow beardies, <laughs> that's one. Big glow beardies, checking out with Yo-Yo Reptiles and you can find me at Big Glow Beardies. At Big Glow Beardies, Lord Jesus. What is it, Instagram? Big Glow Beardies, 3X. And I'm here with Yo-Yo Reptiles, man, so check it out. All right, so I got Thick Glow over here. Uh, as you saw, he gave you guys a whole breakdown mm -hmm. of bearded dragons, how to keep them, uh, diet, all that. So um, we'll get you a rare monster produced by Big Glow. Big Glow Beardies 3X. Big Glow Beardies 3X, all right?